there's a disconnect between the choices young people are making for post-secondary education and where the jobs are. They're faced with these surprising barriers when they hit the labor market. We are making a 10-year, $500 million commitment to help prepare youth for the future of work. So we wanted to make a video to launch the RBC program. The students we had on set today all had real jobs, from makeup to catering to cinematography. They weren't just observing, they were contributing. What young people are looking for are who's out there that's going to help them to open the door. Young people aren't looking for a handout, it's really the hand up. How can we as RBC act as a catalyst for change? We just need to better match the skills, the optimism, the desire that young people have with the needs of employers today and the needs of the future. While this is a significant commitment from RBC, it's not one that we are making alone. We are putting youth at the center. We will be co-creating and developing with key partners that will help us on this 10-year journey. How do we provide young people with the 21st century skills they need? the career development supports they need to understand how to apply, enhance, and best utilize those skills, and then provide them with the practical work experience to either help them get their foot in the door, or to test and learn and to understand if the job path they're headed on is the right one. We need to prepare students in a way that they can adapt to the real world of work and how it's changing. I'm excited about RBC having this youth strategy that will put more focus on us, that will put the spotlight on us, so that we don't have a generation that is completely left behind. It really takes a player like RBC to come up with a unified plan that's really going to make a difference. It's a huge contribution. It's often said they're our future. I believe, as others do, young people are our now.